This guide is a weapon guide for the MK48, which is the first light machine gun available in Black Ops 2, and uh, it is available as soon as you unlock Creator Class. Compared to the other light machine guns, it has a lower fire rate, lower damage, but a longer range and also more accuracy. This means that it is a longer range weapon and does not suit close quarter combat very well. The first non-optical attachment is the foregrip, which reduces recoil and thus increases the accuracy and range of the MK48. It is not required, although it is a nice addition to the weapon. I found that the recoil was very controllable and the boost to the range was not that significant that um, it was necessary to use the foregrip. Quick draw allows you to aim down the sights of the MK48 a little bit quicker, but since the weapon is more a long range weapon, this is not a required attachment for the MK48, although it does help when you are ambushed and enemies get closer to you or when you are changing position. The same goes for the stock, that's more an aggressive attachment that is not really a passive attachment. It enables you to move faster whilst you're aiming down the sights, but of course if you're behind cover it is not necessary to move. But it means that you are a much harder target to hit. But there are better attachments for the MK48 than the stock. The laser sight increases your accuracy whilst firing from the hip. This is a very fun attachment to use in combination with extended clip and rapid fire and if you don't aim down the sights it'll be very powerful. But that is of course not going to work well at long range and laser sight doesn't help when you are aiming down the sights and rapid fire is a hindrance at longer ranges. The extended clip increases the available bullets per clip of the MK48. For memory it is an increase from uh, 100 bullets to 135 bullets. It is a nice addition but again it is not required since you are more passive and if you need to reload you can duck down and do that without worrying about being attacked whilst you have to reload. Rapid fire increases the fire rate and damage of the MK48 but at a cost of reducing your range slightly and decreasing your accuracy by introducing more recoil. It is not a good attachment for the MK48 because of course it is a long range weapon and rapid fire is more a close range attachment that is very good when you are in a close quarter situation. But of course the MK48 is not at all suited for that kind of combat although it is possible to spray enemies down with hip fire but that is not very consistent at all. The non-optical attachment that I'm going to recommend is FMJ and the suppressor. FMJ increases your penetration through any kind of material and the suppressor keeps you off the minimap and it also very critically gets rid of the muzzle flash. That makes it easier to aim at longer ranges and it also means that enemies can't very easily spot you when you are in a passive position. The reason that I recommend the FMJ attachment is that it reduces the time it takes for you to take down score streaks, which is very critical in a defensive position since a score streak can force you to move and expose you to close quarter combat. It significantly increases the damage that you do against score streaks. In fact, you can take down enemy helicopters very quickly indeed and sentry guns and guardians last even shorter. There's a full range of optical attachments available for the MK48. The ED Tech uh, hinders your ability to aim at longer ranges because it has a circle and it also covers a lot of the screen and you need clear visibility at the longer ranges that the ED Tech does not offer. The Reflex Sight is good at medium range but again suffers at longer ranges since it has a lower zoom and the dot is at longer ranges the dot is actually fairly large compared to the size of your targets. The ACOG scope is, <laughs> it takes away a lot of your visibility at long ranges, although it does increase the zoom that you get from aiming down the sights. But it doesn't offer any benefits compared to the optical attachments that I'm going to recommend. So it is not the one that I'm going to go for. Zoom is good for extremely long ranges. At that range, the MK48 has too much recoil to be very effective, although I did find that it was very enjoyable to use with the zoom. 
Hybrid Optic. <laughs> the Hybrid Optic I found a little bit awkward to use. That mainly has to do with the fact that I'm using a PC and then it's toggle, not hold the mouse button to aim down the sights. And that makes it kind of awkward to switch between the two. I didn't see a reason to use the Hybrid Optic since you d shouldn't really be fighting at close quarters and the reason you'd use the hybrid optic is if you had a weapon that was good at both close and long range and since that is not the mk48 it is not worth using the dual band scope is basically an inferior version of the optical attachment that i'm going to recommend it highlights enemies in the reticle and which makes it easier to shoot enemies and it also means that you have a significant advantage at medium and long range since you can identify targets very very quickly and even if they only show a small part of their body you can very easily shoot them but if they are using cold-blooded i think it is or one of the perks which means that they can't be detected in it or they don't get highlighted in the dual band scope it makes it very hard to identify since everything has a green tint and um, yeah, so it's not really worth using the dual band for the advantage it gives. The target finder is the optical attachment that I'm going to recommend. It zooms in mode compared to the ED tech and reflex sight, similar to the ACOG scope. It also identifies enemies by giving them a red box around them, which makes it very easy to shoot them. I found that the highlighting was a great help when I was uh, seeing enemies and especially at longer ranges since sometimes if you can only see a slight part of the enemy head uh, you know, to don't notice them that is taken away by the target finder as it very clearly highlights enemies it means that I <laughs> was able to shoot enemies that I normally wouldn't even be able to hit and that is a great addition to the MK48 since it is a long range scope and it makes it easier to see enemies in terms of perks Blind Eye is a good addition to the MK48 since it means that you can't be the target of AI controlled air support, which makes it very easy for you to shoot it down. But I would actually recommend Flak Jacket. I haven't got that unlocked yet, so I'm going to recommend to you Blind Eye. Toughness is a must when you're using a long range weapon since if you get shot, you're going to lose the target and <laughs> it's going to result with you dying. In the last slot, I would actually recommend Dexterity if you don't have tactical mask. Dexterity reduces the time it takes for you to be able to start shooting enemies when you are when you arrive at cover. If you didn't use dexterity it would take a while to raise the weapon and then it would take a while to start aiming down the sights. Dexterity takes away that initial part where you get the weapon up to ready it for aiming down the sights which is a great help since it allows you to be a little bit more aggressive there's only one slot left in the credit class because of course you had to use primary gunfighter for using three attachments and since the MK48 has a very long reload time I would strongly recommend that you use your favorite secondary just use a lethal or tactical grenade which is up to you which one you use I liked using the grenade because you are further away from the fighting and you can toss the grenade further than you could with the Semtex and it also has slightly more damage which does help and it gives you the ability to get enemies out of cover when it is more difficult to shoot them. So there you go, that's the class setup that I recommend for the MK48. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time.